Today's video is brought to you by our sponsor, Impact Dog Crates. If you're in search for a top quality, indestructible, easy to maneuver dog crate, look no further. Impact Dog Crates have multiple options available. A collapsible dog crate, a high anxiety dog crate, and a stationary dog crate. With the Impact Dog Crates, you also have the option to finance. So if you want to get your Impact Dog Crate, this will be the last dog crate you will ever need guaranteed just click on the link in the description to go over and check out impact dog crate what's up mal pals and welcome back to the best of mal and wild lovers channel if you're new to the channel be sure to subscribe and turn on the post notification bell so you can be the first to get these videos when they drop in today's video we have some k9 tactical highlights and i'm gonna let my buddy roy go ahead and explain to you guys why it's good to have these dogs k9 tactically trained if you're in law enforcement or things of that nature and i'll come in at the end in combination with the SWAT. So you see, she's cycling me. The reason why she's cycling me, because she understand that I'm handing with a gun and someone can come, come and pick up the gun from me. So now she is in work mode. You see, I, I didn't let, I didn't say anything. Hermia, Emta. At this moment, it's a SWAT. Why it's a SWAT? Because I want my hands to be free. I don't want to hold any leash. So wherever I go, it's a one part of my body, okay? Most of you know how to work with the handgun, right? So whenever I do, or whatever I do, it's coming with it, with the, with the, the dog is physically the, my third leg. So when we're going, I want to, my back to be protected. So she's protecting now my front, but the, my handgun, is protecting the front. So switch and empty. Now she is protecting my back. Anything I did in front now in rear. You see? No words. Hand could do it. Hand could do it with game. No commands. Empty. You got it? So yeah, I'm agreeing with Roy on this one, guys. Two is better than one. It's good to have two hands free than one hand free. Even though if you're in law enforcement, you're taught to shoot with two hands on the gun. Having one hand on the gun and one hand on the leash, that's, you know, you're not even going to have accurate aim with the kickback if you fire like that. And I believe that's against the rules. So two is better than one. The dog is an extremity like he said, a third leg, but a third leg that can defend, protect, and attack. So, I believe if you have tactical training, a tactical trained K9, it would do more good than harm. A lot of old school K9 officers say they've never seen this type of thing happen in the field, and that they wouldn't want a dog between their legs while they're in the shootout. Now, my thing with this. No one wants a dog between their legs while they're in a shootout. But if you're in a shootout, I do not believe that you're gonna be standing in front of the suspect returning fire while the dog is between your legs. It's, this is not the Western times. This is not cowboy. You know, you're not John Wayne. So standing in front of a guy returning fire like you can't get hit, that you're not gonna do that in the first place. Secondly, if, you, if someone's shooting at you and you're shooting back at someone, you're gonna be behind a barrier or you're gonna be retreating. The dog is not gonna be in your way. As you can see, you can look across the barrier, the dog can lay down between your legs and you can fire your shots. Simply and plain. I haven't had anybody come to me and say that the dog tripped them up while they were in the shootout. Having this dog tactically trained like this is basically as a deterior. It's gonna de deter uh individuals from engaging in combat with you you're gonna have the dog between your legs if somebody charges you the dog's gonna charge them and stop them in their tracks simply and plain if you're patrolling the front the dog can go between your legs and patrol the back make sure no one's come behind you he can be the eyes behind your head which is a plus so i believe having this dog or having your dog tactically trained 
is going to be a benefit if you're in this type of field you know in law enforcement or anything if you just want to practice this on your own or anything it's a good thing it's not a bad thing in my opinion but i want you guys to let me know down in the comments what you think how you feel about